Creating a portfolio website can be a headache. You either spend hours messing with templates, try to code it from scratch, or pay someone else to build it for you. And none of those options are quick. That's why I wanted to show you another way. With Base44, you can go from a blank project to a professional, fully live portfolio in just a few prompts. In this video, we'll build one together step by step. We'll start with a basic structure, refine the design, add personal branding, expand the project section, and set up a working contact form before publishing the whole thing live. And if you want to follow along while we build, I've dropped the link to Base44 right below. Open it up and create your own portfolio as we go. Alright, if you've ever tried making a portfolio website, you know the first question is always, what should I include? A homepage is obvious, but then you start wondering, do I need an about me section? How do I show off my projects? Should I get a contact form? It's easy to get stuck just deciding on the structure before you even touch the design. That's exactly why I'm going to start by giving Base44 one simple, clear prompt. Create a personal portfolio website with a navigation bar, a hero section, an about me section, a project section, and a contact section. Make it clean, modern, and responsive. From that one line, Base44 instantly generates a draft site. It has a navigation bar at the top linking to each section, an about me block with placeholder text, a simple project section, and a contact section at the bottom. Everything is already responsive and functional right out of the gate. However, it doesn't look finished yet. More like a rough sketch, but it's a solid starting point. I don't have to waste time debating the basics or piecing together a structure from scratch. The heavy lifting is already done. The sections are there, the navigation works, and it's responsive across devices. That means I can move straight into the fun part, refining the design, adding my personal details, and shaping it into a portfolio portfolio that actually represents me. Speaking of refining the design, the draft already gives us the bones of a portfolio, but it still feels a little bare. I want to make it look more professional, so we definitely need stronger visuals, a proper hero section, and a layout that feels modern instead of basic. The nice thing here is that we're using Base44, so that means I don't need to redesign everything by hand. It's already built to take detailed prompts and turn them into real design changes instantly. All I have to do is drop in a prompt like this. Improve the portfolio layout by adding a large hero section with a profile image and headline. Update the project section with cards for at least three projects including image placeholders. And apply a minimalist modern theme with consistent fonts and spacing. And just like that, the site upgrades. Now there's a full hero section at the top with space for a profile photo and headline. The project section transforms into clean project cards with room for images and descriptions and the whole site takes on a consistent minimalist theme. This is one of the big advantages why I'm using Base44. I don't have to juggle separate tools for layout, styling, and responsiveness. It keeps everything unified in one place. As early as this stage, the site already looks like a real portfolio. It's responsive across desktop and mobile. The layout adapts smoothly and the design already looks polished, professional enough that you'd feel confident showing it to clients, employers, or anyone checking out your work. Now, keep in mind that a portfolio only works if it actually shows you. Without personal branding, it's just another generic website. So this is where I'm going to start adding the little touches that make it recognizable. A logo, consistent colors, and details that introduce who I am and what I do. The first thing I'm going to do is drop in this prompt. Generate a simple personal logo and add it to the navigation bar. Apply a consistent color scheme throughout this site that is suitable for a modern portfolio. Right away, there's a logo spot in the header and a color palette that ties everything together. From there, let's move on to the hero section because that's the first thing people see when they land on the site. I'll tell Base44 to update the hero section with placeholder text for a personal name and role. For example, Jane Smith, web developer. Replace the about me text with sample background information including education, skills, and a short introduction. Now, the homepage doesn't just look structured and it actually introduces and gives visitors a snapshot of what I do. After these changes, the site now has a logo, a clear headline, a short intro, and project cards waiting to be filled with real content. In just a couple of prompts, the portfolio goes from a generic draft to something that actually represents me. Showcasing projects is the most important part of any portfolio. The homepage cards are great for giving people a quick glance, 
but sometimes you need more space to actually explain what a project is, how it works, and even link to code or a live demo. I am thinking of adding a dedicated projects page here. Here, I'll just prompt base44. Add a dedicated projects page that displays projects in a grid layout with placeholders for screenshots, descriptions, and links to GitHub or live demos. In seconds, a new page appears in the navigation bar. It's set up with a clean grid layout, and each project slot has space for a screenshot, a description, and external links. Like what I said earlier, Base44 automatically handles responsiveness, so this one looks just as good on mobile as it does on desktop, without me having to adjust anything. Basically, the portfolio isn't limited to just a few highlights in the homepage. I can keep adding projects over time, and visitors always have a dedicated space to dive deeper into my work. Alright, at the end of the day, the whole point of a portfolio is to get people to contact you about your work. Clients, employers, collaborators, whoever it is, the contact section needs to actually work, not just sit there looking nice. So I'll add a prompt. Add a contact form with name, email, and message fields. Include basic form validation and store submissions in the database. Base44 instantly upgrades the section with a proper form. If I leave a a field blank, it gives me a validation error. And when I fill everything out, the submission gets stored directly in the backend. The form is styled neatly too, so it lines up well with the rest of the page. Having a working contact form built in saves a ton of time. No third-party plugins, no manual database setup. It's just ready to go. And it makes the site much more practical as a professional portfolio. By now, the main parts of the portfolio are done. But a few small details can make the whole site feel much more complete. Things like social links, smooth navigation, and a proper footer might sound minor, but they make a big difference when someone's actually browsing your work. So first, I'll ask Base44 to add social media icons in the footer for LinkedIn, GitHub, and Twitter, each linking to placeholder URLs. That puts clear ways for people to connect with me right at the bottom of the page. Next, I don't want navigation to feel clunky, so I'll tell Base44 to enable smooth scrolling when clicking on navigation bar links. Now, instead of jumping abruptly, the page glides down section by section, a simple touch that makes the site feel more professional. And to tie everything together, let's add one last detail. Add a footer with copyright text and a back to top button. It closes the page cleanly and gives visitors an easy way to return to the top whenever they need to. Individually, these are small tweaks, but together, they improve flow, polish the navigation, and give the portfolio a finished look that's ready to share. The last step is putting the portfolio online. Publishing with Base44 is quick. I'll just click publish and the site is instantly live in its own subdomain. There's no extra setup, no need to configure hosting because Base44 handles all of that in the background. From there, it's already accessible like a real website. I can open the link, browse through it, and see the portfolio in the same way any visitor would. Fully responsive, working across devices, and just a few few prompts away from where we started. And here's the final result. The portfolio now has everything you'd expect from a professional site. Right at the top, there's a hero section with a profile image, a logo, and a headline that sets the tone. Scrolling down, the About Me section introduces the background details, while the Projects area highlights work with clean cards on the homepage. For anyone wanting more, there's also a dedicated projects page laid out in a responsive grid, giving each project room for screenshots, descriptions, and links. Visitors don't just get to browse, they can also get in touch directly through a working contact form, complete with validation and backend storage, so every submission is saved automatically. At the bottom, a footer ties everything together with social media links, copyright tags, and even a back-to-top button for smooth navigation. Whether it's viewed on desktop or mobile, the whole site holds up and it's already live in its own Base44 subdomain. Looking back at the process, a few things made the build especially smooth. Starting with a clear, well-structured first prompt saved time and set the foundation. Grouping multiple requests into a single prompt helped reduce credits, while the visual editor handled those small tweaks like spacing and fonts. The contact form was ready right away thanks to Base44's backend integration, which saved hours of manual setup, and publishing the site was just a single click. All of this shows how quickly a portfolio can come together. Using just 
a handful of prompts, the project went from a blank start to a site that's visually sharp, fully functional, and instantly shareable. For freelancers, students, or professionals, it's a workflow that takes the stress out of building a portfolio and makes the process straightforward from start to finish. And that's it, a complete portfolio built from scratch in just a few prompts using Base44. Hey, try it out for yourself with the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.